you ready to cause some chaos? Ready to destroy buildings, eat people, take down military planes, and the and the such? Well, it's Rampage World Tour for the N64 today on Power Up. show. If you grew up in the 80s, you probably heard of the game Rampage. It saw a release on many of the home consoles after its arcade release. And it even, it, it even saw a release on the Atari 2600. Wow! Well, a couple years later, Midway released this game. Ah, Rampage World Tour in the arcades. And, as, and this is the game I'll be reviewing on the N64 today. And also to note, this game was also released on, a couple, on, on Midway's arcade compilation, Midway Arcade Treasures 2, which you can get for fairly cheap as well. Well, anyway, let's go make some chaos, shall we? Rampage World Tour was released in 1998 on the N64, and is the second game in the Rampage series. You play as one of three monsters. George, a giant gorilla, Lizzie, a big Godzilla-like lizard, and Ralph, a giant werewolf of sorts. You go from city to city, destroying buildings along the way. Besides buildings, you can eat people. Mmm, policemen. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> and destroy the opposition against you, like tanks and walker thingies. Well, Play the game for yourself to find out. And there are tons more things to destroy as well. And as well as pick up. And all of you find that out yourself. And trust me, there's a lot of pickups in this game. And a word of caution, there are items when eaten that will make you throw up. You've been warned. And one other power ups I like is this radioactive, I think it's pink sludge of sorts. If you eat it, you become this this creature called Vern, violent, enraged, I think radioactive nemesis, and with that you can spit fire and destroy buildings easy, and and, you, and also destroy a building just one swim at their hand wipes out a whole floor completely. How awesome is that? Cool, huh? Also, being the game called World Tour of Rampage World Tour. <laughs> As you destroy the buildings, if you punch certain buildings, as I aforementioned, they need power-ups. But sometimes there's flags. Punch the flag, you can punch these flags. As you punch them, if you leave it, if you punch one, like, see, if you see a flag, if you see it, you can punch it and just leave it for a couple of seconds. If you leave it, then you'll go to that area's flag. And then you'll go on a little mini-game where you pick up stuff for points. And then, poof, you'll be in, like, London or Bombay, India, for example, eating their humans and just, and just kind of causing an all-out rampage. Cool, huh? And another good part, maybe the best part about this game, they have multiplayer. This game, Rampage World Tour, supports up to three players. It's cool that as you pick your player, you don't have to be, a, you can choose, you, the, besides choosing your, like, George Liz or Ralph, you can choose their color as well. You can be a blue Lizzie or a green George or a yellow Ralph. I think he's yellow. But anyway, at the end of each level, you are graded in a few categories, so do your best. One of my favorites is the aforementioned uh, Balls of Steel mode or something. A wrecking Balls of Steel. I'm sorry. Wrecking Balls of Steel. Well, you demolish the, demolish the most, and you get a good bonus as a part of that. And about the only drawback to this game is it can be short if you play long enough. When I bought this game back in, I think, 98, 99, 
I had a, me and my family members spent the whole weekend playing it. And by the time the weekend was done, we finished it. But that's because we were really, we were really on it. We really wanted to destroy buildings a lot. It was really cool at the game. That was, that's, what, that's what's good about the game is you keep on to play it, but at the same time, it only goes so long. But even with that little drawback, you know, it should be fairly cheap about now. Plus, it's part of the Midway Arcade Treasures 2 compilation on the GameCube, PS2, and I think Xbox. But please, if you like, if you like destroying stuff, and you like doing strength stuff as a monster, give this game a pickup. And also to note, they did make a Rampage 2 Universal Tour as well, but it was alright. What I didn't like about it is there is, in this game, Rampage World Tour, there's unlimited continues, which helps in beating the game. Whereas in Rampage Universal Tour, you don't have those unlimited continues. And it, and it does feel like more of the same, if I can say that. But I have them both. I like them pretty much. But I like, if I had to pick between Universal Tour and Roll Tour, I like Roll Tour a little bit better. It's because, it's because the Ethan and Continue point. So I don't have to worry about, oh my god, am I going to die midway through the game? So, but yeah, but, but all in all, if you see Rampage Rule Tour, give it a shot. You'll, 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 have, you'll, have a, you'll have a building smashing good time. And as usual, before we go, if you live in or around South St. Paul, Minnesota, or the Minnesota metro area to be, to be specific, please visit my good friends at Level of Games. As usual, here's the address and website. And there it is. And if you are viewing this on YouTube, please rate and subscribe to my channel. And I have a Facebook fan page, and you can do that by Facebook searching Skaken Bacon Media, which is, I think, down there. So Facebook Skaken Bacon Media, and like my page. So if you could, sir, or madams, or whoever. <laughs> and also, I also have a website of websites. Where I do this episode, where these, I do these, where I post these episodes, as well as some other products and some stop motion animation projects as well, and that is skakenbacon.com/slash skakenbaconmedia, and that's for the live action like, like this fine show and stuff, and my and my stop motion animation site is skakenbacon.com/slash sba. Well. As usual, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for another episode of Power Up!